Hey dudes, today I want to talk about how to use the nudge tool in Pro Tools. So let's jump right into it and make today a quick video. So I'm going to hit T a couple of times just to zoom in so we can see the playhead right here. And each one of these is a frame, right? So I am in grid mode, for example, and I am clicking one frame at a time. You don't have to use the mouse to do this. You can use the nudge tool. So if I look down at my keyboard and I hit period or the arrow pointing right, you'll see that it just automatically goes one frame at a time to the right. I then of course can hit the comma or the arrow pointing left and move one frame to the left at a time. Now, if your settings are not working this way, you can go up to this nudge menu right here and make sure you select one frame and time code, for example, if you're working on film, but there's lots of other options here for you. Additionally, you can move five frames at a time by hitting the question mark or slash button, and that moves five frames to the right, or the M button, which moves five frames to the left. So whatever your preference is, whether it's one frame at a time or five frames at a time, those are the nudge buttons. Now, that was just moving the playhead, but we can also move a clip. So let's check it out. All right, so let's listen to this section right here. What if I can't explain designing the audio experience the right way? Oh, wait a minute, I got this. So I'm feeling like this clip here is happening a little too quickly, and I want to nudge it to the right just a bit. So remember, I can hit, say, Question mark a few times to knock this over here. Oh, one too many frames. I'll do comma to go backwards. Let's check it out again. What if I can't explain designing the audio experience the right way? No, wait a minute, I got this. Yeah, much better. Matches the picture a little bit more, leaves a little bit of space after that transition. Everything's all good. So there you go, that's the nudge tool. You can either use it with the playhead and nudge the playhead to find exactly where you want something to go, or highlight a selected clip and nudge it around left or right. One frame, five frames at a time, there you go. So I hope this trick is useful to you guys. I enjoyed myself on this one, and until next time, later dudes.